A cancer diagnosis can be one of a parent's worst fears, not just for the parent, but for their child as well. That's why the mission of Children's Hospital is to offer a comfortable, optimistic, and loving environment, as we see in this tour of the oncology unit. When a child is diagnosed with cancer, it affects the entire family, so we try to make our environment as family-friendly as possible. So we've created some space within the, uh, our floor that allow for uh, parents to be here for long periods of time and siblings as well. One of the areas that we, have, that we have available for parents is our Ronald McDonald Day Room. Parents can come here and get a cup of coffee or they can go to the fridge and make themselves a snack. And parents like to spend some time together parent to parent mm -hmm. um, and so it gives them kind of a support group and they can spend um, some time away from their children and just talk to one another and share about their experiences. So, And parents, because we spend, they spend so much time here, they get pretty close to each other. So um, they become, uh, we all become family. We have this outdoor terrace and um, so kids can just go outside and get some fresh air. Sometimes they'll just spend a couple hours just sitting out there getting some fresh air or when it snows they build a snowman and um, we used to sidewalk chalk. Some kids like to play baseball, so they'll pick up the balls and get a little bit of activity. Um, it's also great for siblings, because siblings can work off a little bit of pent-up energy. Um, can you tell us about the flagpoles? Yes, um, the flagpoles were a donation from the Rippon Foundation. They're uh, um, meant to um, signify when a patient is here, they make their own special individual flag, and then we raise that flag when the patient is inpatient, so that um, people from all over the city, really, when they're coming in, can see that particular flag. This is our playroom. Uh, this room really comes alive in the afternoon. During the first part of the day, the kids are usually in their rooms. The doctors are making rounds and they're making decisions about what's going to happen with their care. But in the afternoon, this, uh, this room definitely lights up. And it's also a really good place for um, siblings to gather and to have mindful activities that they can do together. From their mental perspective, it's good for them to get out of their room. We also have uh, patients and family members that like to gather out here and. Uh, play with the Wii. It's kind of fun to watch them um, compete with each other and get together. A lot of our patients make friends and so they'll often come out here and play with the Wii together as well. So our patient rooms we also try to make family friendly as well. Every room is has a couch, a day bed for one of the family members to stay. All the rooms are sectioned off in three sections. The back end is for a family member to stay and there's plenty of room uh, for the family member to put their clothes and to sleep at night. The bathrooms are very large so that both whomever is staying in the room can shower easily. Every room is equipped with a refrigerator. Every room of course has a TV and a DVD, um, you know, an ability to play more video games. It's, it's something easy that the patients can do while, while they're resting and it keeps them engaged in another activity. Another thing I'd like to show you is the teen lounge. Teenagers have very different needs than the smaller kids. So what do you have in the teen lounge? Well, we've got a, a large screen TV and just very comfortable oh, couches, yeah. some music, there's a couple of guitars and a piano, and puzzles and games. The main thing with teenagers is they just want to gather and be together and just hang. Mm -hmm. And uh, so this, that's what we had in mind when we designed this room, was just so teenagers could come and hang out together. So this is your outpatient area? Right. We, ha we do have an outpatient clinic, and it's associated with our inpatient unit. Mm -hmm. We do try to keep the kids out of the hospital as much as possible, but we still do have to see them on a regular basis. So a lot of times, if they don't have to have an inpatient stay, we'll bring them through the outpatient clinic and follow their treatment that way. So the outpatient clinic has four uh, infusion rooms and we also have a playroom here. Most of the kids just get their treatment right there in the playroom and again we, we make it as family friendly as possible and siblings are welcome to come. Uh, kids do better when, they have their fa when they're surrounded by their family so we definitely encourage that and let them play as much as possible. So Kim, you must be very proud of the oncology unit. I'm very proud of it and part of the treatment is the team, the team that comes together to treat these kids and their families, but also being able to offer them such nice surroundings and such a nice environment makes a huge impact on their outcomes. Not all superheroes wear capes, but like 11-year-old Nikayla, who was diagnosed with sickle cell anemia as an infant, they approach life with the same bravery and gusto as a superhero. Sickle cell is when you're Blood is not shaped like usual, like other people's. Mine is shaped like a half moon. A little girl with a big personality, 11-year-old Nikayla Taylor is a regular at Sacred Heart Children's Hospital. She visits every couple of weeks for treatments to help her body combat the effects of sickle cell anemia and prevent painful episodes common to the disease. One port hurts when the needle gets in. 
feels like something weird and the other one doesn't. For the medical staff, comforting their young patient is just as important as treating their disease. Her name is Donna and she does my exchange every three weeks and I like having her. They make sure you're okay. They comfort you if you're hurt or something. Did you tell him about us wearing our crowns? <laughs> Did you tell your dad about that? We went to a several hospitals just because I've been in the military moving around and my daughter I've been to several different hospitals, and this is one of the best. I mean, the, uh, the staff here is uh, outstanding. I can't even say but good things about them. I like being here. I think it's fun, and I like to make the people here laugh. <laughs> the survival rate for children with cancer is 80%. That's an encouraging statistic for any parent whose child has been diagnosed with the disease. And it's because of medical professionals like Dr. Judy Felgenhauer who are dedicated to improving the outcome for children with cancer that make that survival rate possible. It's been a lifelong dream of Dr. Judy Felgenhauer to work with children, and you could say she's taken on one of the most difficult of assignments when it comes to helping young patients, children with cancer. There are days where it's very difficult, and when that happens, sometimes it's just as easy as looking at the family and saying, I'm not going through anything compared to what this family is going through. They're the ones who are really doing a hard job. Dr. Felkenhauer came to Sacred Heart seven years ago to develop the hematology and oncology clinic at Children's Hospital from the ground up. We are now at the point where we're starting to focus on our subspecialty clinics and populations that would be our brain tumor patients. They certainly have a lot more long-term follow-up issues and have more needs and we run a specialty clinic where we have neurosurgery and neurology and endocrinology and all those other specialties that many of those patients need. Dr. Felkenhauer says the mission was to build a unit not just focused on the young patient, but the entire family. We're not only interested in how the child's doing when they come in for a visit, but how is our mom and dad doing? How's their marriage? Our social worker will check in, make sure they're taking some time for themselves. There we go. Okay, open up. There is a very talented, dedicated group of pediatricians and pediatric subspecialists that are here in town. Most of us have chosen not to be at a university. We want to still be providing direct care to patients, um, but at the same time have the opportunity to do some teaching to other doctors and nurses as they're coming along, and this is kind of the perfect place to do it. From small beginnings come great things. We think that's the case, and we want to encourage our families to remember that, too. Coming up next, we tour Children's Hospital's Neonatal Intensive Care Unit, ushering in a new era of family-centered care for the tiniest of patients.